finally got a nice saw on my mitt. Okay. The tide's coming in quite nicely now. Hope we'll get some shoals on camera for you. I mean, sometimes they come over so fast trying to film them. I could have put down another mark and put it a bit further up than this one. Just give you enough time to turn the camera on and press record. It might be time for a bit of a snack before the old, before the runs start happening of white bait. I bought a snack. Haven't eaten all day. I'm getting a bit hungry for some a bit of a snack. We got a tasty tin of sardines and tomato sauce and a red onion. So we're going to cut up some red onion, add it to our sardines. They can be our lunch snack today. Yum, who loves sardines? My favourite. Especially on toast. Anyway, got to save this battery for a bit longer. Get you guys up. Just going to have a bit of a taste test of some sardines and onions See. I prefer sardines in spring water but it's still they had at the shop at pick and spend I prefer like the Brunswick sardines but these are okay in tomato sauce do you guys like them in tomato sauce or how do you like having your sardines if you like having sardines that is you might just like to eat just watching my marker. Wouldn't surprise me if I'm stuck having this kai that we can get a shoal come over. Sardines. Oops, shit splitting it. Good spot here out of the out of the wind. It's not much wind though, but there's a oh, there a shoal now, then I go my net, can I go in? Going in. Here they go. Right, gotta get that up. Shit. Okay, See that? Where is it? I've got to fake that the wrong way. Bloody GoPro's not going to go again. Just had a nice little shoal coming in as I was doing my screw on this GoPro. Come on. About time. Pick my sardines in a minute. You get some white bait. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, first shoal for the afternoon. You guys see that? I can't see it past the sardines. Here we go, first shoal. There's quite a few in there, probably 50 or so. So that'll happen pretty quick, didn't it? One minute I was talking about sardines and tomato sauce, and then I had a nice shoal come over. Right in the middle of that marker. Right back to our sardines, like I didn't spill them on the ground. I didn't bring a chopping board, I should have. But I'm just going to put a few slices. Starters anyway. Put a little bit of salt on here. And it is hot. It will taste better with some bread, some butter, oh, heaps of butter. There you are.
Man, I'm excited. That was great fun. Hope I got it on camera. Yeah. Eat it slow. Oh, piss eat it slowly, bro. That's a better spot for my net. Finally got a nice show on my net. going in right now keep going uh, come on go little show right, got those ones Another show. Back at the again, filming it. Check this out, it's got a nice show. Oh, oh, look at that. I've been losing heaps, but finally got a show that went in my net. Here you go, some big bugs in there. All went over. Oh, yeah, that's a nice shot. Check that out. Oh, 
open it. Father, she. I'm still recording. <laughs> Another good show. Here we go. Here we come. Oh, oh. Well, wow. it's a bit of cleaning up to do, but. We have got half a colander full. Wow. You've got a kilo in here maybe. I'm not too sure, but a bit of cleaning to do. I lost I lost quite a bit. But at least I've still managed to get quite a bit as well, so pretty happy with this today. Today we're going to be cooking up some of our white bait for tea tonight and since we're having pizzas, we're having some meaty pizzas here, salami, ham and bacon, capsicum, mozzarella cheese, red onion and barbecue sauce on there, hickory sauce, I'm going to make a white bait pizza. So I've got two in the oven already cooking. So what I've got here, I've got a multi-grain wrap. Not a pizza base, just a wrap. Nice and healthy. Hickory sauce. You can put whatever you want on your pizza. The white bait pizza. It's got to have white bait on it, okay? You have white bait on your white baked pizza. A bit of mozzarella cheese. So we want the white bait to to be the dominant taste in here. So we don't put too much ingredients on, just enough some red onion. So at home I normally make pizzas for tea quite often. We have nice healthy pizzas. And using wrap wraps for the for the bases. So that's there, we're gonna put in a bit of capsicum colour, pepper, I found this lovely piece of puha out in the garden. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut that up. I wash it first and I'm going to cut it up. It's going to go into our, our pizza as well. White bait and puha pizza. Now how does that look? 
Right. White bait taste. How's that look? And a bit more. There we go. Let's run a cheese on top. It's one of our pieces already. Check that out. Yeah, one or the other. Anyone you want. So just had another bit of a white bait this afternoon. Or was it for a three hour white bait session? Uh, what I've got probably a hundred grams of white bait. I think it wasn't much at all. And the tides aren't quite right. I would have liked to stay there another couple of hours. But it was getting dark so I couldn't stay. So we're just gonna have some pizza. Not the white bait pizza first because that's still cooking, but we got this this pizza here, look at that. Easy as to make. Yep. Way better than buying Pizza Hut pizza. Domino's pizza. Their pizza tastes like cardboard. Looks ready to me. This white bait pizza. Puha and white bait pizza. That is delicious. Taste of white bait in there for sure. A very nice white bait taste. That is so nice. I can't really taste the puha in here, but it, uh, it sounds quite good though. Puha and white bait pizza. We'll take care and we'll see you on the next video.